So from the Himalayas to the Andes, we're seeing a global consensus, right? We are living in a global village. A village in which resources are finite and less and less as we talk. And there we, for we need to adopt some village values. Values of compassion, caring not only for ourselves, but also for others. And in the course of that expedition, we began these projects which are in this room here, from geotourism, heritage restoration, microfinance, to education and healthcare. And exchanging these ideas with people across the Himalayas in India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, we realized that there's a new approach for development, actually a new approach based on very old wisdom. We like to call it Himalayan consensus. I think it's special that he's coined it the Himalayan consensus. So it's kind of a pun on the Washington consensus. So it's a different way of looking at development. And I think he wants to help uh, people in Tibet and in Himalayas. And beyond that, he has this ideal that this type of uh, Tibetan Himalayan consensus is something that can help everyone in the world. That is, the world has limited resources and we all need to share. And only by sharing can we survive and create a better future for everyone, for everyone on this small planet that's increasingly getting smaller and smaller. The exhibition is nicely done. It's really a wonderful place. I can see some pictures, some very beautiful pictures, whether it's about the sky or about people. I think it's very beautiful. 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 Tremendously moving, and it shows that one person still in our modern world can make a big difference. Since I'm a Tibetan, actually, I'm very interested in uh, introduce Tibetan culture to other people. Uh, and then uh, I think this is a good way to uh, introduce Tibetan culture. Uh, There's a sense of uh, ancient uh, Buddhism and Tibetan religion connected to our modern world. So um, I think what I like was that all these things were tied together.